If you want to learn how to actually make your footage look cinematic, then you absolutely have to learn about split toning. Lucky for you, that's exactly what this video is about. Let's get started. Okay, first things first. Yes, this is a new studio. No, I'm not doing a studio tour on this channel. Yes, I am doing one on my vlog channel, which is linked in the description of this video. Also, happy Halloween. Let's talk about split toning. We're gonna make this short and sweet here, starting off with the most important question. What exactly is split toning? Well, according to the Jay Lippman oversimplified for the sake of understanding dictionary, split toning is the process of changing the colors of an image based on luminance values. Basically, you make the shadows one color and the highlights another color. Now, the most common form of split toning, and coincidentally the most traditional since this is what film used to do naturally, is the classic teal and orange look, and that's the look we'll be looking at today. Now, there are a few different ways to do this, and I'm gonna show you two of them. The first method is with curves. To do this method, first use serial nodes to get the exposure and contrast ratio that you like, then add another serial node and use the curves to push blue and green into the shadows, leaning a little heavier on the blue. Then set a control point on the blue and green curves to lock off the shadows. From there, set another set of control points to lock off the highlights and push red and green into the highlights, leaning heavier on the red. The first thing you'll notice here is that the color grade is just way too intense. To fix this, head over to your key tab and bring the key output down until you like the way it looks. The second thing you'll notice is that doing this will add way too much color to the blacks of your image. To fix this, add another serial node and use the luma versus saturation curve to desaturate the blacks of your image. From there, you can add more nodes to really make your footage look the way that you want it to, but those two methods are really the backbone of the split tone teal and orange look. The second method I want to show you is using the HDR color wheels, but before we do that, I want to take a minute to thank the absolutely amazing sponsor of today's video, Art Grid. And yes, if you're wondering if all of the footage I've been showing off in this video is from Art Grid, the answer is yes. In fact, Art Grid is where I get all of the stock footage for all of my projects because one, it's super easy to find what I'm looking for. Two, I can get access to the raw and log versions of the footage on their site, and three, with their unlimited license, I can use their footage on any project from YouTube to commercial work and even film and television. Look, guys, I know they're sponsoring this video, but I really mean it when I say that ArtGrid is one of, if not the best in the stock footage game. So go ahead and click that link in the description, check out ArtGrid for yourself, and if you sign up using that link, you'll get two free months on top of an annual subscription. Thanks so much to ArtGrid for sponsoring this video. And now, let's get back to DaVinci Resolve. Actually, real quick, I forgot to mention, stick around till the end of this video. I've got a bit of a surprise for you. Okay, the HDR color wheels method of split toning is basically the exact same as the curves method, except instead of using your curves, simply head over to the HDR color wheels, use the shadow wheel to add some teal into the shadows, and the highlights wheel to add orange into the highlights. Then we'll bring down our key to taste. Then once again, add a new serial node and use that luma versus saturation curve to desaturate the blacks and you're done. Now, if you wanna get this split tone look but you don't wanna do all the work yourself, you're in luck. I've created two different split tone looks with both the curves and the HDR wheels and turn them into LUTs that you can pick up on my brand new website. And I've created power grades for a Rec. 709 workflow, a log workflow, and even a DaVinci wide gamut workflow. So if you're counting, that's four LUTs and 12 power grades that you can pick up. All of that will be linked below, so feel free to go and check that out. And you know what? Go ahead and pick up that free screen pump effect while you're out there. Don't know what I'm talking about? You should probably go check out this video right here and until next time, don't forget to go out and make stuff. Thanks for watching.